Today I'm going to show you how to make chocolate fortune cookies. This is a really cute idea for things such as um, maybe Valentine's Day or an anniversary. They're really easy to make and they look really cute on the table. So I hope you like this tutorial. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is take the modeling chocolate that we made yesterday. And if you didn't see that video, I'll link it somewhere around here. And you want to roll it. Um, I'm going to use the mat. You don't have to use the mat, but I find this to be the best tool for rolling fondant and even modeling chocolate. I rolled it out to a little over 7 inches, but remember this is just a third of the recipe. Generally it would be a lot larger in size, and you don't want it to go too, too thin. Next you want to cut out your circles. Now um, you can use a cookie cutter or <clears throat> if you're like me, I like to improvise. I use the bottom of my uh, magic bullet attachment. You can use anything, a cup, anything circular. Then you want to gently pull them up and you see it's pretty thin. So you got to be gentle with it. So now I have them all pulled out and the next thing you want to do is add your fortune. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put the fortune towards the top and then fold it over and only pinch the top here. Now for this one I'm going to leave a little bit sticking out but you don't have to do that. And then you want to leave the sides open but you want to pinch the corners. And what you're going to do is give it a little indentation here and you're going to bring those corners together. And there you go. Fortune cookie. You take the scraps and you start over, re-roll it, and make more until you don't have any more. Or alternatively, you can store this in the fridge in a Ziploc bag. Now this third recipe yielded eight fortune cookies. And I had this much left over, so that's just... Bella will eat it. <clears throat> what you want to do is, once you have them... Um, all done you want to let them sit out on the counter or you can put them in the fridge uh, you want to let them get hard and I don't think I have one that's quite this one's probably the hardest hardest one that I have but what you want to be able to do is break it open without it bending so as you can see I did some with the paper sticking out and some I some I left the paper hidden that way I can distinguish whose is who I left all the ones sticking out for Bella and all the ones that are in for Liz that is all. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, post them below. And don't forget to subscribe for more of these fun little how-to vlogs.